So for this video, I've switched from a, a virtual machine to uh, another laptop that's running Dragon OS actually on the hard drive and I'm just using VNC viewer to get to it so that I can still do my screen recording and hopefully we can hear the audio uh, but for the software defined radio the RTL SDR in this case uh, it just would not work well with what I want to show you so it's now physically uh, plugged into a laptop uh, sitting next to me here so we can hopefully hear the audio but for this I'm going to show uh, the RTL SDR GNU radio and FM uh, RDS. Now you will need an internet connection because it's it's not installed by a default but I'll walk you through what we're going to do. Uh, you can come to this GitHub page. You can read a little bit more about the uh, GNU radio blocks that we're going to create. We're going to actually build it for the 3.7 branch because that's what's in Dragon OS. So you can read more about it here. Uh, but really what we need to do is we need to pull up a, a terminal window and we're going to, which I'm already there, but once you pull it up, just go ahead and change directory to use your user source. Now, you should have in the previous video added yourself to the sudo group, so this is where this will come in handy. Uh, but we are going to uh, run this command here. I'll leave it up for a second. so. You can follow along. The important thing is we're checking out the branch maintenance uh, 3.7. So that'll pull that down. We'll go ahead and make a folder called build within the GRRDS folder change directory to build we're gonna run CMake we're gonna build this once it's completed we'll compile and build the, the files that are gonna get put into GNU radio It's finished. Go ahead and install it. You can see it puts everything where it needs to be. Go ahead and run that command. Change directory. We want to go in the apps folder. If you type ls it will list the various files that came with uh, GRRDS. What we want to do is run Junior Radio Companion and we'll specify the RX file here. So this is going to pull up GNU Radio Companion and you can see it's a pretty uh, elaborate uh, structure here that you can read through and see how the developer got this RDS working with all the GUIs. Now it is a, a WX GUI, so it's, it's, it's older, and we'll learn more about that later, but the GUI is it's, it's fine for, this, for the purposes of this demonstration. So it's already using the RTL SDR as a source, which, like I said, I have plugged in on this uh, laptop that I'm VNC connected to. I'll go ahead and turn the laptop's volume up, so hopefully you can hear it uh, from here. But we'll start the graph, or we'll execute the flow graph. You can see here, now you've got you've got your slider bar here, uh, that you can. Change. You can see
So if you give it a minute, I think we'll start to see the station name populate. It's got a waterfall graph, so you can see it starts to pick up the information here from RDS. So you can play around with the different often options. You can put peak hold. So we'll go ahead and close this down. A quick video on getting the FM RDS up and running with the RTL SDR.